Hello and welcome to the Red Men TV. Jonathan here after a, a strange but important 2 0 victory over Newcastle. Um, as I said, probably one of the most strangest, weirdest feelings um, I have after a game of football. A game that we won, we kind of um, showed a different niche to ourselves today. A little bit more of the kind of grind out your result and you know do what we have to do to get the win but you know I think I speak for everybody and you know you could see it by Klopp uh, you could see it by the fans you could see it by the players afterwards despite a game that we won and won in the in the end relatively comfortably after a bit of a struggle just absolute collective rage um, at, towards the officials at such a blatant blatant decision uh, as Salah was right through at the end um, like the, the irony of it on on the day the announcement of a VAR VAR is going to be continued. Um, oh Jesus! You know people that may have had you know been on the fence about it. Um, when you when you look at decisions like that, like luckily it didn't, uh, it didn't impact the game or the or the results today. But you can imagine if that was like one all two two, you know, level going into injury time, and we were reliant on a decision like that. Absolutely scandalous. And and you know I repeat, you look at the rage from Klopp. Like I thought he was going to thump the head of someone there at the end. Um, and all the players out afterwards despite a win despite it wasn't a game changing a decision or lack of a decision really but look I won't d dwell too much on that but it's just weird that the, that's my first impression like I'm screaming at the television here like a lunatic uh, like everybody was really um, the game itself um, you know it was a typical kind of a I know it's a little bit of a cliche, but it's almost like a little Rafa team. You know, they were kind of, they sat very deep, you know, that five at the back, you know, four and just one up front. And, you know, they, as, as Rafa would say, it was very compact. You know, they were, they were kind of smart the way how they, they pressed us at times to make us kick the ball long. But then they had enough, you know, d just sly little things. You know, the amount of time wasting they did on the slide, they didn't really be, get picked up by the crowd or anything like that. I could see Klopp a couple of times giving out to the fourth official about it. But, you know, it was just kind of a niggly kind of, we never really got into our flow. Partly that was down to down to us as well. Um, I thought, you know, in terms of um, performance in midfield, I thought we were quite slow and laboured. And, you know, I'll go straight to the goal. The goal was a complete contrast to the rest of the, the play throughout the first half. It was Chamberlain getting the ball, making that five, six yard dash sprint, breaking the lines and setting the ball, passing the ball through to, to Salah then. And Salah does what he does. No more words needed. You know, it, it's just a complete and utter class act. Uh, and, and, you know, we'll run out of words, as I said many times, run out of words to describe Salah, but we'll never really get sick of <laughs> of, of describing him. He's just a superstar. The finish, you know, it's just gives the keeper the notes, puts it through him. But, you know, you have to you have to speak about Chamberlain. That's two games in a row where he's made a game-changing move from just that little burst, that drive. And it's a complete contrast because you looked at, the, I thought... You know, I don't want to bash players, but I thought Chan and Henderson were, I thought they were quite poor in the first half. Um, they were lazy, I thought, on the ball. You know, they sat deep looking for the lazy ball. You know, they just wanted to take the ball off the back four. Nobody really make uh, making any forward runs. Um, and, you know, we made life kind of easy in a way for Newcastle. They kind of were, they were content to let us have the ball and just ping it around. We, we, we passed the ball a decent bit, but it was just weird. We were kind of, we didn't have that zip. We didn't have that bite. And we had none of those kind of runs, and um, where you know are the the two central midfielders on either side of the of the six are running from you know from inside to outside, just stretching, and overlapping the wings. You know, none of that. We had n no bit of penetration at all, and it, it took it, the irony of it. It was one movement um, from Chamberlain really that that broke them down. I know we got a little bit of luck the way the, the their centre half had pushed up a bit, but you know that that's two games in a row that Chamberlain has done that, and you know it's hats off to Klopp again. He saw that that little bit in Chamberlain that you know not a lot of people saw. You know there was question marks about Chamberlain when we bought him. The fee was questioned. Even I've had arguments even recently with Arsenal supporters about him as well. How I thought he was, you know, the Arsenal are crying out for a player like that at the moment, as we are. And you know he's grown into life, and you know, and he's shown little aspects of his of uh, of these game as well in in terms of defensive shape and and to track him back and get let in. He's really really settled into life, and you know. You know, not hopefully that's a bit of a partnership that he's kind of coming <laughs> coming on. You know, if, if he's driving through and pinging the ball to Salah, who's finishing it, um, we'll all be very very happy with that. Uh, I've got to give a shout out in the first half as well. Um, Carius, another brilliant save. Uh, I thought throughout the game, the first half especially, you know, he was nice and you know all the stuff that goes on behind the scenes that you don't really pay any attention to. But you know, in terms of just getting the ball, keeping the ball moving, um. 
you could see the trust in the defenders. They're more than willing to give him the ball, pass a ball back to them. If they can sit a bit higher, if they're under pressure, they'll just turn and they'll zip it back to them. They know he's going to be comfortable on the ball. Um, he kept kept things ticking not, 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 uh, pretty pretty over in the first half. And the, the save is a decent save as well. It's a very, very important save. Like, I don't need to exaggerate a goal before half time there for Newcastle and it's complete and utter a different story um, and so yeah he's really settled into life and you know unquestionably Liverpool number one at the moment where there's going to be long, number one long term that's a whole hell of a lot of a different conversation really but for now um, without doubt I don't think I think and it's it's amazing like Carrie's got love him he got absolutely dog's abuse uh, over the over the, the last couple of months or so and or his time at uh, at Anfield a lot of it justified but some of it completely over the top but you know it's it's good to see that you know we're not having a discussion anymore about him you know it's it's another it's another game where he's he, he's making these uh, game change and change our um you know um options to the game you could see even the small little one you know where he comes out and grabs a high ball you know you can see his confidence come back you see him growing into the team um he takes Lovren out of it you know just little things that you know People question, did he have in his locker? He's starting to unzip, and it's no, it's no um, freak or um, exaggeration that you know this has happened when he's got a clear run in the team, and you know a very, very important, um, important play in in the terms of the overall um, content of the game. Um, you know, it was it was weird. You know that that, that moment from from Ox and Salah before half time was key. Um, got us into half time. We kind of upped it a little bit in the second half, and but we were still, in a weird type of way, never really in, in full flow. We were always kind of one pass away, one poor touch away. I felt there wasn't a lot of movement. We were just kind of sluggish. Um, but we get we get this the all important second goal. It's it's a it's it's a beautiful team move. Um, you know, Bobby wins it. I think Trent wins it back initially, and then Bobby wins it back. And you know, you can see how far he travels to get on the end of the ball. Then and Manny makes a lovely run, and it's a beautiful finish. And what I loved really, and it's it's only a small little thing, but when Coutinho left in January, you know, people were questioning Bobby, especially you know, he's everyone knows how friendly he was with Coutinho, etc., etc. Would he be happy at Liverpool? But th- there's one little thing I'll talk about. I think Manny did a, I think an interview for BT during the week there, and you know, it it came up about the celebrations and. Um, Manny copy and Bobby celebrations and he made a little tongue and cheek joke you know no, they copy me and I loved it's only a small little thing but it shows the kind of collective team spirit um, that we have at the moment you know he, uh, Manny copies Bobby's celebration from last week the little wave away and you can see the smile just watch that smile on Bobby's face when he goes up and he gives him a big hug then as well it's that kind of bond collectiveness that happiness that there's, there's a real content uh, in the squad at the moment and it's it's look it's it's a lot easy to be happy when when we're winning when the results are going well, but it's it's very important for that team spirit to be there. It's something Klopp really try tries for, and you you look. <coughs> excuse me, I'm not going to go into it, but it's one of the reasons why he doesn't panic by he he picks the right players to bring into this kind of family environment that you want for another word. But a beautiful, beautiful team of team move, and just a moment of class, just to you know two moments of class really, just to undo a lot of hard work, a lot of good hard work that that Newcastle did. The rest of the game kind of faded out. I thought we were, you know. Never really got going and never really got going in a full aspect, but you know, just did enough. And you could see the frustrations of Klopp um, um, on the sideline there. He was never really content with it. It's one of those where, you know, he's probably going to destroy the team when he goes back and look at the highlights package with him when they when they review the game. It's an important three points, most importantly. And, you know, the run, the collective run continues, continues, and Salah breaks another record, you know, as as we were. Important win, um, an important week coming up now. Obviously, the Porto game uh, midweek, and then the all the all important uh, could be crucial game going to Old Trafford on Sunday then as well. So, every the run keeps moving. Not a not a perfect performance today, but we got the job done. And a couple of moments of class from from Sani Manny. A shout out to to Bobby and, and Chamberlain there as well. But there we go, on we march. Um, thanks for watching. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to the Red Men TV, and I will talk to you all very soon. Up the red.